Hello and welcome to the video by Trompixer. I am Sumit Bansal and in this video I will show you how to replace one value with another in Power Query. So here I have the sales data and I can open this in Power Query by going to the data tab and clicking on the from table range here. So this opens the data in the query editor. Now uh, let me do a very simple replacement. What I want to do is I want to remove the KL here in product ID and I only want the number. So to do that I can simply select this column. I go to transform and here I have the replace values option. So in any any column group I have this and if I click on the drop down here you can see I actually have two options. One is replace values and the other one is replace errors. So I would click on the replace values option here. It opens the, the replace values dialog box and here I would say the value to find is KL and I want to replace it with nothing because I want to remove it. And I also have a couple of advanced options here. First is match the entire cell content. So if the entire cell content is KL, it will only work if I check this option. And if you have special characters such as line feed or carriage return, then you can check this option and you can then select from this. In this case, I don't want to use the advanced options. I just want to replace KL with nothing blank. So now when I click OK, you can see instantly the KL part is gone and I am left with these numeric strings, numeric part, which is 001002 and so on. Now, uh, another way you can use this is let's say in this case, I have KL001, but if you want to change this with let's say KL-001 or some other code, then you can do that. So I would go to replace values. Here I would type KL and I would say replace this with KL- dash. and now when I click OK, it will instantly make the change. So replacing one value with other is a very simple operation that you can do in Power Query. It's very simple to the find and replace that you can use in Excel. Now let me close this and show you a different scenario. So I have data two here and in data two, I have a couple of these rows where I have the date, but I do not have the records. I do not have the data for it, but instead I have NA or not available here or some random text here instead of the values. So this entire row is NA, but I just have the date here. Now, if I open this data in Power Query, so let me click on from table range. And now that data gets opened in Power Query. Now, the first thing that you should notice here is that if you check the data types and which I recommend that you always check the data types to make sure that the data types of the column is correct. Uh, you can manually uh, change these uh, once because uh, Excel when it does it, it by itself. So you can see here it did it by itself. It changed the data type. It may not be always correct. So if I go to transform, you can see this is date and time, which is fine. This is text, which is fine. This is text, which is fine. Again, text is fine. But if I come to quantity here, the data type is any. And this is any because there are numbers, but there are also text values in it. So here you can see there are NA and below again, I have not available here. So you can change this. Now there are a couple of ways to handle this. First is you can replace NA with let's say zero. So it is a number. You can then format this as whole number. So you can go to transform replace values and you can change NA with zero. And now when I click OK, you can see that this has been changed and you can do this for all the columns, but this is not really the best way because to be honest, if you are handling with your handling uh, and working with the uh, millions of rows of data, then uh, you may not know that NA is consistent somewhere. It may be N dash A somewhere. It may be uh, not available written. So if there is this level of inconsistency, it's a better idea to first convert this into the data type you want. So I have quantity and I convert this into a whole number. And when I do that, any number value remains unchanged, but any text value gets converted into an error. So I don't have to worry about whether it is N A or N space A or not available. Anything which is not a number gets converted into an error. And now I can replace the error here. So I go to transform and here I have the second option replace errors and I can simply replace this with a zero. So this is a much more efficient way because now I know that there is no instance in this entire column, no matter how many rows of data there is, there is no instance where there is a text value because I converted this into whole number. It changed the new, the text values to error and then I replaced the error. Let me 
close this uh, remove this step here replaced error and let me again see if this is fine yes so i have errors here another thing that you can do is you can replace errors so if you do not want to keep those error records if you do not want these records to be here in the in your data set then you can do is you can come here and you can remove errors and when i do this it will remove the entire rows all those rows that have uh, those errors those are completely removed so if you want you can replace it but if you do not want these errors or these kind of records then you can also remove errors that's it in this video i hope you found this useful thank you and have a nice day